All right, what's going on, everybody? Broken Games HDR back again, another video. Um, so in this video, going to be talking about PlayStation VR 2 or PSVR 2, uh, because on January 4th, just a few days ago, PlayStation officially announced uh, PSVR 2 on the PlayStation blog. There is a bunch of details and, and uh, information about it. And i um, going to talk to you about my thoughts about it. Um, am I interested? And all of those things, right? So first of all, I got to start out with, with a backstory relating to my experience with VR. I did not buy the original uh, PlayStation VR, and I'm going to get into why. But first, I got to start out with this video. I mean, it, can, it pretty much connects to it. So at e one of the E3s I went, went to, it, it, I feel like it was either E3 2016 or 17. It was the E3. I think it was the E3 where Days Gone was first shown. And Gorilla Cambridge, who was which is now shut down, it's defunct, uh, showed off Rigs. Rigs was the um, like the uh, the VR game um, that they had for for PSVR, right? And you know, you, at E3 they give you the opportunity to play some of these games, and you know, I got in the line to play Rigs, right? I'm like, this this looks like the best game that's being offered for PlayStation VR at this time, right? Um, so I got in line to play it with a, you know, I was with some people that I knew at E3, got in line to play uh, rigs, cause you know, I was generally interested in, v in VR. So why not, right? Got in line, it was my turn to play rigs, you know, put on the, you know, this the the big ass uh, helmet, uh, you know, Professor, Professor X um, Cerebro helmet and was playing the game. And a few minutes into playing this game, how do I describe it? And I, th I think I've told this story before. I felt, this is the only way I could describe it. I felt my stomach fall out of my ass. I'm sorry, that's the only way to, to describe it. My stomach was in my ass, okay? And what I mean by that is I, I became so physically sick like so physically sick by the motion. It was pretty, it was mainly motion sickness. It felt like vertigo. It felt like a combination of a lot of things. I'm not gonna lie to you. I thought I was gonna die. I thought I was gonna die, right? I, I while, so this is while I'm playing, right? And I, and I sucked it up and I powered through it, but I could not wait for that, that VR session to end. Because we were playing with other players, of course. I could not wait for it to end. I took off that helmet. And it's like when you're drunk. Like, I felt drunk and high at the same time. Drinking champagne on the airplane. Never mind. I'm about to get into some lyrics. Um, but yeah, I, I felt drunk and high at the same time. And uh, I... I, I I pretty much tried to walk. You know when you when you're actually really drunk and it's really hard to to walk. Like it's it's really hard to walk in a straight line. So I tried to like force myself to walk in a straight line and I don't know how it looked to other people around me, but me I felt like I was wobbling all over the place, right? And I'm just trying to keep my composure together. And you know, I'm I it's over and I'm walking back on the the E3 floor and bro all I'm saying in my mind is, bro, do not collapse. Because I literally felt like I was about to die. I'm like, yo, don't collapse. Don't collapse. I don't want to, like, be that dude who ends up on the news who died at freaking E3 from playing VR. Like, I, I, I'm I, trying so hard not to either collapse, die, or, or throw up. Because I definitely felt like I was going to throw up. And I'm like, yo, I don't want to be that guy, bro. I don't want to be a headline. I don't want to be a highlight, bro. And I pretty much, as, as quick as possible, I had to find somewhere to sit down and recover. I think I was down and out for at least 45 minutes. I found somewhere to sit down and, and I was done for at least 45 minutes. I was incapacitated. I could not do anything. That game took me the hell out. That VR took me out, bro. I was out of here. And... I don't think, I think it was specifically PSVR because there was another game I 
it, it wasn't really a game. It was more of an experience. I, I can't remember which one it was. Because, you know, around that time, there was a lot of, uh, uh, you know, VR devices coming around coming out around that time. And there was this, this, this experience that I played in VR. And I was completely fine. But it was more, it was one of the more uh, premium VR headsets. I, I think that one at the time might have been like, five six hundred dollars and you know I, I forgot where i was at i was at some convention some event not e3 where i got to try it out it was the the more expensive uh vr headset i don't remember which brand and i was completely fine because that one was probably more advanced that you know it, the, the 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 uh the tech in it and the and the um and the specs were probably way better than, than the psvr and yeah so that was my experience with, with vr and pretty much since then i never even tried vr i'm very like susceptible to like motion sickness even w even when i play random games right Th that's why if if a game does not give me the option to play to turn off motion sickness i mean m motion blur i'm not playing it i refuse i won't play it like for example i had bought the spyro collection um when that came out on uh, right on, on playstation um a few years ago that you know that came out on everything and there was no mo no option to turn off motion blur. And that motion blur in that game was hella strong. I never touched it. I, I literally, I was so mad. Because I think, I what did I buy it? Did I buy it digital? I don't remember. I'm, I, I don't remember if I bought it digital or physical. But I bought the game, played it for five minutes. There was no option to turn off uh, uh, motion blur. Money wasted. I can't play. I can't do it. Or, or, or I'll just become, like, I literally become hot. My body starts to sweat. Like motion blur, blur be killing me, bro. And I know a lot of other, some people are, are not as affected by it, but I know everybody mostly like, mostly likes to turn it off regardless. So I just wanted to tell that quick story about how VR almost killed me. All right. So now let's talk about PSVR two. So I'm going to give you the cliff notes version, uh, about the specs, um, about well, what about what it supports, and then I'll get into a few details about the specs. So it's going to support uh, up up to 4K, um, probably not natively. Um, oh, it's going to have OLED screens, HDR, eye tracking, 110 degree field of view, uh, vibration in the headset, foveated rendering. I'm not familiar with that term. 3D audio. It's going to have new sense controllers. Um, Horizon is the one game that's been announced for it so far. The only game that's been announced for it is Horizon VR Call of the Mountain from Guerrilla Games and Fire Sprite in collaboration with Fire Sprite because Fire Sprite, if I remember correctly, has some um, experience with uh, VR games, right? So I'm, I plan to pre-order the PlayStation VR 2 when it comes out. Let, let me tell you the reason because obviously I wasn't, I didn't buy PSVR 1 and VR almost killed me. So let me tell you why I plan to give it a chance this time around. Number one is specs, right? I think the specs, the technology, and the improved hardware, all of that since the time of the original PSVR and the original uh, VR devices, obviously that's being improved. I think that's one of the things that contributed to me being sick while playing the original PSVR. Now the specs are much better, so hopefully, that helps remedy the problems I had playing the original PSVR because I'm sure it had to do with uh, refresh rate, frame rate, all of all of those things. I just felt like the tech wasn't there. So that's n number re one reason I'm I'm interested in VR this time. Number two is games, right? In the original v uh, VR devices across the market, I felt like they we weren't really getting games for it. We were I felt like we were getting tech demos and experiences they were just calling them games but they weren't really games now i feel like developers have figured out exactly how to actually make games for vr uh for for vr devices Th those were just experiments essentially that they were playing you know that was the first generation of uh i, I guess vr really right um so those quote unquote games weren't great. So I'm like, no, it, it's, it, it might kill me. The, the games really aren't there, you know, it, but I, I will say I was impressed by the, by the fact that PlayStation actually supported, um, the original PSVR. They, they actually did. And, you know, PlayStation has somewhat of a bad track record of maybe have of having like 
uh, secondary devices, peripherals, and not supporting them. They actually supported this and uh, had a good amount of content, even though I don't think it was great. They had a good amount of content for people who actually purchased PSVR, and it actually and the, the and the unit actually sold upwards of five million, and I think it retailed for three hundred dollars. So, uh, convincing people to buy, um, you know, a VR device, a secondary device that's somewhat uh, niche, um, when when it doesn't have the biggest library of games. Um, you, when you're almost essentially buying like another damn console, you know, the price of another another console and they managed to sell five million. I think that's actually pretty impressive. And like I said, I'm just impressed by the fact that uh, PlayStation supported it. That gives me faith that they're going to comp- continue to support this through third party and first party. I don't want, you know, first party focus being um, taken away from, you know, uh, obviously the conventional and traditional games. I don't want that to be affected. That's something I'm, 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 I'm concerned about just a little bit. I don't think it'll, it'll affect, affect it. Um, so th- that's, but that's something to keep in mind. So the, the tech is getting better and the games are getting better though. And PlayStation showed me that they will support this device those are the main two, two, two or three things that are that are, that is convincing me. Okay, I'm gonna give uh, this VR uh, device a chance, even though I wouldn't have never even touched uh, the first one. So, getting a little bit more into the specs, just to read read this off. Um, as I mentioned, it's gonna have an OLED uh, display method. Uh, 20,000 by 2040 um, per eye. That's the resolution. Uh, panel refresh rate is 90 hertz or 100 and tw- up to 120. Um, as I said, the field of view is you know 110. Uh, it's gonna it's gonna be a one. Uh, it's gonna connect by one cable, which which is great because the original device didn't you need to connect like two three cables to the console or something like that, which to me was another thing i'm like no i'm not having all these cables hanging around that you know that that really messes up the um the the experience when you have got to have all these wires connected and everything like that uh the motion sensor six axis motion sensing system uh three axis gyroscope three axis accelerometer uh the cameras four cameras for headset and controller tracking ir camera for eye tracking per eye um so wait which camera do you actually need to use this do you because play play do you need to buy the playstation there is a playstation 5 camera so i'm assuming you're going to need that camera to actually use this I'm, i guess i'm going to have to buy that or is it going to be bundled in with this with this psvr i'm not sure about that uh but whatever i'll, I'll get what i need so as I said, there's going to be these new controllers. I think they're calling them uh, sensor. Uh, the, yeah, the PlayStation VR Sense controller. Um, and I'm I assume that we're probably going to learn a lot about this a lot more at E3. And I would assume they want this to release uh, this holiday, which I think is the perfect time um, to to the, the the right time to release it. What is it? The Oculus Quest Two uh release well it wasn't released i don't i don't completely keep up with like all these vr devices so you know i don't you know correct me in the comment section but all i know is the oculus quest 2 sold very well this holiday season i think it's the two the quest 2 right it sold extremely well this holiday season and i'm like i saw it i'm like why are so many people buying this like it's it's it didn't just release according to what i know but i'm like did it get a price drop i don't know exactly what happened but a lot of people we're buying it. Like a lot of people that weren't gamers, weren't necessarily gamers. A lot of people that were gamers, just a lot of people were buying it. And it's like $300 right now. So it was like a great holiday gift. It was fun. People were playing a whole bunch of different games with it. So, and the thing about PlayStation VR, the original one is what it was like the top selling VR device uh, for a few years, right? Because, and that's partially because it was the cheapest one. It was the best entry level, you know, VR device for somebody who doesn't want to invest you know, something uh, in a peripheral that, you know, is kind of like experimental. You don't want to spend five, six hundred. Wasn't there one that was even like a thousand dollars or something? You don't want to spend something like that on VR, but you want to experience it. 
get the best, you know, entry level one, which was uh, the PSVR. And then there was one that was like, what, $400? Like I said, I don't remember all this stuff. I wasn't necessarily, I didn't have necessarily my finger on the pulse of everything happening in VR. But um, I know that device sold very well this past holiday. So PS, if people, if, PlayStation gives people like a an actual app, a, 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 you know, a must-have VR game um, this holiday, and they actually launched a VR, the PSVR two this holiday. It's go, it's definitely going to sell. It, it's going to sell very well. And according to what I know, um, Astrobot VR is like the best rated uh, VR game ever. Like PlayStation has the best. Uh, rated VR game, which is which is Astrobot. Obviously, I I never played it. Um, what I I'm I'm hope I, I'm like can I hope they can like bring some of those like Astrobot um, to. I hope you can like possibly play it with this new VR device. Maybe um, also I know Resident Evil Four. Y'all know how much I love Resident Evil Four. That's that's an ex that that VR game is exclusive to Oculus. And I was thinking like I figured like VR game exclusivity works. Like, just how it does with regular games. Like, oh, it's going to be six months. It's going to be a year. But some people have told me, like, oh, no. Um, apparently, I think it's exclusive to Oculus. And apparently, Oculus VR exclusives are, like, forever. I don't know if that's true or not. Somebody please let me know. But I would love to um, play, you know, PSVR, uh, you know, play Resident Evil 4 with PlayStation VR. Because I um, love Resident Evil 4. So... And there's, of course, there's going to be the, you know, the, uh, like I said, there's the haptic feedback and, ad and adaptive triggers uh, in, in the v PSVR 2 uh, sense controllers. So the same experience you're getting, you're going to get with the dual, that you get with the dual sense, you're going to get with, um, yeah, you're going to get with uh, the PSVR. So, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. Um, I want to see more games be uh, announced because the call of uh you know the call of the mountain from horizon they've seemed to reiterate like this is they they wanted to emphasize that this is going to be an actual full-fledged game um they seem to be very uh you know adamant about people knowing that it's not going to be an experience like a tech demo like like you know a lot of vr games are so i'm looking forward to this i'm hoping um that it's a viable experience for me, given my past with VR. I'm hoping it doesn't kill me. You know, it'll be fun. It's something that my wife can wife can play and experience. You know, it's 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 a cool. It's a really fun gathering um, experience. It's a really fun, uh, you know, party device. You know, we've seen on Twitter and social media people like going crazy. Um, you know, playing VR, and you know, it was. The, the hype for VR died down a while, you know, um, but now it seems to be uh, picking back up. So, yeah, that's that's great. Um, so, yeah, that that's that's my stance on VR right now. I plan to uh, pre-order this. We don't know the price. We don't know release date. I assume they would want to release VR, too, similar to what they released the original play, PlayStation VR price at. So, yeah. Let me know what y'all thoughts on this. If you plan to pick up a PlayStation VR 2 when it comes out, hit the like button, hit the notification bell. Uh, follow me on Twitter if you're not. Hit the join button, support the channel, become a member. And I will catch y'all on the next video. I hope I don't die playing VR when it comes out. We will see. If it kills me, then, then I'm dead. But if, if it tries to kill me and I survive, then I'm just selling the shit. All right, I'm out. Peace.